Hey guys, Engineman Gaming here. Do you want to learn how to take or retake B site without being completely decimated by the enemy team? Well, I've got two smokes today that are going to help you do that. So whether you're a terrorist pushing up from mid trying to take B, or you're a counter terrorist pushing from mid trying to retake B from the terrorists, these two smokes are going to help you a lot. So if we try to push onto B site, what are the most common places that enemies are going to be? Well, while there are tons of areas that they could be, they could be hiding anywhere here. Uh, the two most common places that I see all the time are car, right here, and back plat right here. These spots are incredibly overused. It's very easy to predict that there will be enemies in these two spots. So we're going to smoke these off to make it a lot easier on ourselves. First, I'm going to show you car. So car is extremely easy. It doesn't require very much precision. What you're going to want to do is get in this little nook right here. Uh, you'll feel kind of a click because you can't move any farther. It's going to block you. So get in that little area right there. We're going to aim all the way up to the lamppost, but not at the lamppost, just under the lamppost. And what we're just going to do is just going to throw. Just simple as that. Throw it and just wait. So this takes forever to actually deploy, but while it's deploying, someone can do the other one. All right, there it is. So as you can see, if your car, you can no longer see anything. You're going to have to move out right here where you can see stuff. Uh, and by the time you're there, you're completely vulnerable to the opposing enemies. Now it's time for the smoke for back plat. Back plat is almost as easy as the smoke for car. It's just a little bit more sensitive. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our area. We're going to pretend like we're coming up. This is the one for car. For back plat, what we're going to do is we're going to go right in this corner where I have shot bullets. So let's get in the corner. Now what we're going to do is we're going to aim to where the arrow is kind of telling us at this little paint splotch right here. See, I don't know if you can see it with my cursor thing right there, but I'm circling it right now. This little paint splotch. Okay, so this is going to be a jump throw. What we're going to do is we're going to aim and we're going to jump throw. Just like that. It's going to bounce and there it goes. Like I said, this one's extremely sensitive. At this point right here, anyone who's back of flat, let me get there, can no longer see you if you push through window and they can no longer see you if you push the door over there. They're gonna have to get right here, which is very, very open for them. And as you can see right here, you can you cannot see back plat. You're perfectly fine to push in. With car smoked, all you have to worry about is right here, right there, right there, and right there, which is perfectly manageable for one person. Like I said though, that plat smoke is extremely sensitive. So if I aim like at the middle of the arrow, for instance, and throw on my way up, just like this right here, let's watch where this one lands. It's gonna be a little bit different. So, as you can see, it didn't smoke right here, however, anyone pushing from tons is clearly smoked off. So it really depends on where you aim along that axis. If you aim where I showed you first, which is about right there, here, then uh, it's going to smoke you off perfectly. Now if you aim about where I aimed right here, it's going to smoke for tons entrance. So I mean, it's really your call. Uh, just play around with it, maybe smoke here for the best of both worlds, let's see, actually. We'll do a little experiment, smoke right at the top of the arrow. See what this one does and let's let it bounce and it's going to go to the same place as the first place so yeah it's a little bit sensitive uh, it's really up to you to fine tune where you want to go uh, for that smoke so yeah i hope these two smokes are going to help you out a lot um obviously if you're soloing you only have one smoke and uh so i mean pick whichever one's better if you're going to be pushing from door or uh window for instance i would do the plat smoke since sniper is going to hit you first uh, if you're going to be pushing from door though i would do the car smoke since you don't really have to worry about plat there very much right there but yeah so yeah i mean it's up to you anyways if you like the video hit that like button comments down below any suggestions for a future video of smokes you want to learn just comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next video